I don't want to be just a single single game Andy. Is that what it would be called? I'm not hip with the terms these days. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me go get my G Fuel real quick. Get the powder. By the way, I am drinking some Maiden's Blood. Very on point for a vampire. We tried this flavor on stream the other day and it was so good. I am so in love with it. It is a watermelon, lychee, and pear combination, which is just oh, so good. Now we taste. So good. Hello and welcome to another vlog video. It has been a very long time since I've made a vlog so I thought why not I should just make one and fill you all in on some updates to my own life, my health, and everything else. If you've been following my journey up until this point you will probably remember I have been on countless, countless medications. These medications are all for my bipolar, and if you've been following along, you'll remember a lot of times I would be on this medication, it might work for a minute, but then something would come up that prevented me from taking the medication, or maybe I had some sort of adverse side effect to the medications, like one of the previous medications I had taken made me like super depressed, which was not fun at all. I was really getting at the end of my rope here when it came to medications because we had tried so many and none of them had been successful and it was really just very unfortunate circumstances all happening to make it this way. It was, it was very frustrating to be trying so many medications and just not being able to stick with any sort of any of them they were just weren't working for one reason or another and I don't know if I actually talked about this in my previous vlog but I ended up just being very fed up with my psychiatrist at the time because um, one of the previous medications I was on was making me so depressed um, I I was really not acting like myself at all and I told her that and I said, you know, I'm never like this. I'm never this depressed. I really don't like this medication. And her response was, well, let's increase the dose and see if it helps. And I was already kind of like at my wits end with this medication. Like I felt like um, I couldn't, I, I literally couldn't imagine being on this medication for long term because of how depressed it made me and to increase the dose of it I was worried like I'm going to just be very depressed and do something that I would regret that's how bad it was even on the lowest dose and so I was like nope nope I'm done I'm done with this and um, I actually ended up going and finding a new psychiatrist and I am so grateful that I did. This psychiatrist and I worked together to try a new medication. She was very aware of my previous history with all these other medications and my side effects for, with them. And so uh, she was very cautious with me and very, very understanding. Just wanted to make sure that I understood what the side effects were of the medication we were going to try and you know just really sat down with me and was like hey okay so these are the side effects that you can probably expect from this medication hopefully you don't have any of these side effects but just so you're aware these could happen and so she was very understanding and very patient with me while we were talking about this medication i absolutely love her she's amazing i'm so glad that i have her now but the medication actually is working for me. I'm on Zeprazidone and it's working really well and 
knock on wood, on all the wood, um, that it continues to do so. We're on a decent, a moderate amount now, a moderate dose. We've increased it slowly, just making sure that, you know, I don't have any adverse side effects. The worst was I was getting somnolence, which I never even knew what that was until I had it. It's basically like being drowsy, but like, I want to say it's like, instead of just feeling like sleepy, you know, like how when you take a Benadryl, you get like drowsy sleepy. It's more like at any moment I'm going to pass out. And um, it's like you're running towards a wall when it comes to your tiredness. It's really weird. I've never experienced it before this medication, but um, that was towards the beginning and now I don't get that anymore. I'm so, so, so grateful <laughs> for that. <laughs> but yeah, it's been working like a dream, honestly. And I've been telling people uh, in DMs and people who are asking me like in stream and talking to me about like my medication and how I'm doing like in general. And pretty much everyone has heard, you know, from me that this is the best I've felt in my whole life. I can be consistent now, which was just a pipe dream before. I literally would have periods of time where I would be motivated and energized and get things done. That was the mania, the hypomania coming in and making me get this stuff done and like feeling like I could you know hang out with people and so i was making plans and doing this and that and then in the past i would have my depressive episodes almost immediately after the hypomania which would just be me not feeling like talking to anybody i didn't feel like doing anything it was hard getting out of bed it was hard to do just the basic stuff like getting showered and dressed and even wanting to do any of those things and so the momentum that i had gained from the mania was just completely lost whenever I hit my depressive episode but these days now it's I'm more consistent between every day so every day that I wake up I don't feel as though I'm in a hypomanic or depressive episode I'm just existing it's great like I I feel like I can be my determined motivated self without having the hypomania driving me and then the worry of the crash of the depressive episode looming over me i still doubt <laughs> like don't get me wrong like i still have doubts in my head that like tomorrow i'm gonna wake up and it's gonna be a depressive episode so like that's gonna be stuff that i work on and have to like trust with time that like hey this isn't gonna actually happen anymore but to get to that point is going to take time and hopefully it continues to to work so that I can continue to feel more confident in the fact that I can do these things and that I don't have to worry about, oh, tomorrow, who knows how I'm going to feel tomorrow, you know, so why should I make plans in case, you know, it falls through. So it has been a huge, huge relief. It has been like a weight off my shoulders to finally have a stable mood that I'm in control of now completely. And I almost feel like from my years of having this stop go sort of, I guess in, in a way, disability, it's almost been like in a way like training me to when I get to this point so that when I do feel unmotivated, I can look back on those days where I didn't have a choice to be unmotivated, I just was. So now having the background that I did have with the bipolar, I feel as though I can be more in control of my mood and not really take it for granted is really what it comes down to. There are going to be days where I just feel unmotivated to do things. I know that's inevitable, but I know from my past that I didn't have a choice when those moments happened, but now I'll have the decision and I'll have the choice to, to be unmotivated, as weird as that sounds, but it's so freeing 
to know like I'm in control now. So if I do become unmotivated, I can choose to be unmotivated. It, I don't know if that makes sense, but like it's to me so empowering to finally be able to have that choice of my own free will rather than my own brain just deciding it for me whenever it, it needed needed it basically because that's what bipolar is is your brain is misfiring in some ways and so you aren't really in control of when these moods happen it just your neurochemicals kind of doing their things but now i'm free to make these decisions for myself and have those days where I just don't feel like doing XYZ. That's okay. But also in a way, it motivates me to push past those days as well. Like I would do it with love so I'm not like doing toxic productivity stuff, right? But I look back at the days where I didn't have that choice and I think to myself, you know, do I really want to take for granted this new way of being when I could literally choose to just get the things done that I never got that choice to do before. It's a very freeing decision. I don't know if I'm really explaining it very well, but this is kind of what I've been grappling with for the last week or so, it is this newfound freedom on my own mental hurdles it's it's crazy to think about and i'm so grateful that this medication is working as well as it has been switching gears choo -choo. in regards to the channel we are going in a completely different direction than we were a couple months ago in the past i was a dead by daylight streamer now that's no longer going to be our future i really don't see myself playing dead by daylight long term for many years to come i just don't see it as a sustainable direction i just i look at it and i don't have as much fun with dvd as i used to in fact i kind of was loathing playing dvd towards the end of my streaming of it it just was becoming more of a not a grind but i just felt like i had to really convince myself to get on Dead by Daylight and really enjoy it to the best of my abilities and it it just was more of a struggle than I actually enjoyed. So now we're switching gears to focus more on some just chatting. If you have noticed, I have been doing a lot more just chatting streams, just hanging out with the community, getting to know people, um, getting to meet new people. That's something that's really important to me because that is a core of why I started streaming was so that I could connect with people uh, and help them feel as though they're not alone in the world. I feel like that's a huge important thing for streaming and something that is a very important aspect to streaming for me is that aspect of connecting with people. Like I just really want to have that connection with people and help them understand you're not alone your struggles are valid and i want to be able to give them an escape from the struggles of everyday life and i feel that just chatting streams really achieve that and we have fun when we do our just chatting streams um as of this recording uh just yesterday we were doing the candy corn uh poll and we were, you know, everyone who came in, I asked your opinion of candy corn. Is it good or bad? Do you not care for it one way or the other? Some people had never even had candy corn. So it was really interesting to see everyone's viewpoints on candy corn. And I was very surprised to see so many people liked candy corn. I knew I liked you. Uh, and even if you didn't like candy corn. I'll find it in my heart to forgive you somehow, you know? It'll be fine. But the Just Chatting streams are something that I really love and I want to continue going forward. I think they can be so fun. And it also allows me to bring you all with me whenever I go traveling. As you all know, I love to travel. I love to go around and try new things and see new places and all this sorts of stuff. And 
the just chatting streams will allow me to bring you all with me so we can all have fun together now this isn't to say that the gaming streams are gone forever i do still like to game it's still something that i enjoy i just don't see myself pigeonholing myself into one category or another if anything, I will be probably playing a lot more 5M and Red M on stream because I feel that those are something that I really enjoy. I love to roleplay and I love introducing roleplays to everybody so we can all have fun together. Um, it's something that everyone can join in and even if you don't like roleplaying, you can sit back and enjoy the story that we're developing together. And in fact, I really recommend that you check out this video that'll pop up over here talking about the um, World of Darkness server that I'm planning to be a part of going forward. I'm very, very excited about this server. I really hope it does well. I want to try and help it as much as I can to succeed. But it's basically Vampire the Masquerade in 5M, which... I'm so excited about I really hope it does well so you will probably be seeing me play on that server quite a bit going forward as well uh, but I don't know if I want it to be like my main focus of the channel it might just be hand in hand with the just chatting I haven't quite decided yet but one thing's for certain uh, I don't want to be just a single single game andy is that what it would be called i'm not hip with the terms these days i'm sorry but i just want to branch out and try different things and um connect with you all in ways that i haven't gotten a chance to do before i hope you enjoy the changes that are coming to the channel they are with you in mind of course and if you have any suggestions of streams that you would like to see or topics you would like me to cover in maybe one of these videos you can come and join our discord link is down below in my link tree please check it out uh, there is a suggestions section on the discord that you can go to and give me any suggestions for my content if you'd like to see something if you would like to uh, suggest something that would mean the world to have your input it really does matter to me and I do read those comments so thank you in advance for just being a part of the community thank you for watching this video leaving a like and following if you enjoy the content I will be putting out more vlogs in the future with updates to my health the channel anything else that I feel that needs to be covered and yeah Thank you so much for watching. In case you haven't heard it yet today, you are awesome and capable of more than you even realize. Much love, my dears, and please be safe this Halloween season. Mwah! I will see you in the next video.